you are welcome to my channel in this question we'll be solving question number three which says that we should construct a parabola in a rectangle of side 140 by 90. now i want to make my parabola vertical so let me draw a vertical line somewhere here a vertical line like this then at the base let me pick this point let me pick from here like this from 15 to L to 1 that will be 140 140 then I will draw my horizontal line at that point like this so i'll measure my 90 on this one because that would be a rectangle of 90 by 140 this is 90 then i need to divide it into two as well this will be 4.5 that's division into two parts so let me draw my horizontal line from the bottom horizontal line from the bottom then I can draw my vertical line and draw my vertical line here here and here like that The next thing I want to do is to divide from here to here into a number of equal parts. I want to use just four. I'll draw my scale line inside. I just measure one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. There's the scale line. And I'll join the last one to this place. Let me use the bigger one. That's that square. This one here like this, and I'll put the other set square underneath it like this. So I'll shift it here and draw this, shift it, draw this, shift it, and the last one. Don't forget we are going parabola. I've divided it into four equal parts, but so I didn't join the last one. Definitely the last one will be like this so now i also need to divide this side too into four equal parts i need to divide into four equal parts i'll draw a scale line draw a scale line i want to use two two one two three four so I'll join the last one to this place. Join the last one. I'll put my other set square underneath it like this and slide it this way. I'll draw this, slide it to the other one. I'll draw this remaining one. You cannot get there, so let me realign. I'll put it on this one now. Make sure it's parallel to it. And I'll put this square square behind it and slide it to the last one like this so that is that now this division I have to transfer it to the right side transfer it here transfer this one too to this side transfer this one to this side so I have them let me erase this my simplicity of the last video so that it doesn't cause confusion yes so the next thing i want to do i want to transfer this division to this other side too so i'll just pick one of them i'll pick one of them let me just take this one from here to here like this i'll come here i'll mark it one two 
three and four so that is that so the next thing i want to do is to draw vertical line from all those points vertical lines i need to draw vertical lines from all these points let me use this one like this draw vertical lines like this take it to the next one draw vertical line take it to the next one draw vertical line then i have to draw it on the other one too let me use the smaller size square put it here draw vertical line and the next one draw vertical line and this one too draw vertical line and let me complete my vertical line but it must get to the bottom like this complete this one too this complete this one that so i think i have double line here always avoid double lines okay yeah don't forget this is the center so i have to label my points starting from zero at the center so i have zero one two three four one two three four similarly i have to label the side so this will be zero one two three four this is zero one two three four like that so the next thing i want to do now is to mark point from this center to the sides i'll take it to one from here mark it on one then mark point one this is one it's going to one here and one vertical line is meeting one here so you mark that point the next one is zero to two zero to two like this it is this is two is meeting number two vertical at this point so i have this i have this the next one is zero to three so you now check where vertical line is meeting that line this is three vertical line three is here like this and the last one is zero to four zero to four you notice that this is four vertical is meeting it at this point so i have one two three four similarly i'll do the same thing for this one here take it to one from this zero take it to one and mark one here you can see this is one take it to two take it to two then i'll mark two this is two it's meeting it here then i'll take it to three it's meeting three at this point this is three here the last one is four which is four to four like that so I have my point one, two, three, four. So after I've done that, I will now join with French curve. I will join with French curve. That's my parabola in a rectangle. I think I have to shift the camera a little because of my French curve. Yes, you can still see it clearly here. So I place it like this it must pass through this point this one and okay let me try this one let me try using this yes this one will do it like this just rotate it and do the other side because it's supposed to be they're supposed to be symmetrical rotate it now and do this other side so you can touch there's only one side that is missing it's missing only one side it's giving double line here
yeah so that is the parabola so that's the solution to the question if you have enjoyed this video do like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so thank you very much for watching we'll meet in the next video